A local group of elementary students are making their mark on this world and beyond. Our own Christian Kenazal has the story. Legos, space equipment, and fuzzy pies? This unusual combination could lead you some out of this world's sleep. This group of sixth graders known as Fuzzy Pie was inspired after they heard about astronaut Scott Kelly's sleeping struggles. There's no sensation of gravity in space, so you can't feel like you're sleeping on Earth. You don't have any sense of direction, so you can't be on a bed. Um, so they sleep in a sleeping bag in space. According to Fuzzy Pie, 75% of astronauts have to take sleeping pills that can have harmful side effects. But the group has come up with a more natural solution, haptic pajamas that monitor an astronaut's sleeping schedule. You can feel pressure, you can feel a bunch of things with them, different textures sometimes. So we can use that to simulate lying on a bed. The group's research, along with their robotic skills, have earned them an invitation to Sydney, Australia, where they'll compete at the first LEGO League Asia Pacific Open Championship in July. Until the competition, Fuzzy Pie will be building the robot and programming it to move around a table while completing missions along the way. We all work together um, to combine all of our ideas into one idea so that we can get it done in the least amount of time. The competition allows robotic teams four chances for a successful run. Fuzzy Pie will be judged on how well they work together and their presentation on the haptic pajama idea. Sean, Ali's twin, said the STEM-centric project has provided some real-life lessons. It helps a lot with group work in school, and it helps just collaborate better with people around me. If you're like in a problem with like, like programming or building, you can't just like stop and give up. You have to like keep going. And Fuzzy Pie hopes to go all the way on July 4th and bring some hardware back home. For Naperville News 17, I'm Christian Canizal. And Fuzzy Pie has set up a GoFundMe page to help them get to Australia.